I woke up the other morning and randomly decided that I wanted to read the longest book in the world. I went to Barnes & Noble, I looked around, found a lot of really, really big books and I compared a lot of them to each other. But then I came across this next book and it was by far the longest one of all. And as soon as I saw the title, I knew that I was in for a long week of reading. And that book was War and Peace. I read an article that said your reading location greatly affects your motivation to read. So I came up with three. Location number one is my couch. Location number two is going to be outside. And location number three is the weirdest one of all. What better place to read in complete solitude than in my very own closet? And if that can't make me love this book, I don't think anything else will. I'm only a couple pages in and oh my gosh, this is so boring. Usually books in the very beginning are a little boring to me anyway, so I'm hoping it'll get more interesting as time goes on, but thus far, this is a struggle to get through. Location number one is my couch. For this location, I'm gonna be making myself read for four hours straight, which is hard for me with any book, but especially for War and Peace, this is gonna be brutal. finished War and Peace. I can't believe I just said that. Um, I finished War and Peace. <laughs> I'm absolutely adoring it, as you can tell. I've been watching all these other videos of people reading and finishing War and Peace in like crazy short periods of time, and I just don't get it. It's been three days and I've read less than 100 pages. I'm not giving up. I'm hoping that eventually it'll click with me and I'll get really interested in it and I'll fly through the rest of the book, but I'm just worried that it's gonna be like this the rest of the way through the book, and I don't know if I want to make myself read something if it's this hard for me to get through it. Reading on my couch for four hours straight was an interesting time. My biggest take from all that is that War and Peace is really boring and my biggest challenge for the next two locations I read in is going to be making myself get interested and genuinely invested in this book. And to be honest, if I'm not by the end of these last two tries, I think I'm going to put the book down for good. 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 I don't know if any of you have seen that TikTok where it's a short or something where there's like a specific way you can like bend your book pages out or whatever to make the spine not crack at all. So I'm going to try to do that with this book. Actually, that looks pretty good. And there's this original one that was there when I caught the book. But other than that, I'm not seeing anything. Location number two is going to be outside. In hopes that that helps me read a little bit better and enjoy my time reading a little bit more. there for a full hour reading and I didn't get that much further into it. Um, that being said, it is getting a little bit interesting. I'm able to keep up with it a little bit more, but I still have one more location that I need to read in. And this one's going to be the most interesting of them all. When I'm in this next place, I'm going to be listening to white noise as I read because apparently that's supposed to help you focus a little bit better. And I just really want to do everything I can to help me zone in on the book and consume as much of it as I can in hopes that I will get interested in it and finish it. What better place to read in complete solitude than in my very own closet? I can't tell if reading in here feels more peaceful or claustrophobic. I've read a few more pages now and it actually is helping me focus better. I'm a little bit crammed, but it is working. So maybe I'm not gonna give up on this book after all. Okay, so thus far I've been filming a little bit as I've been reading, but I'm about to turn my phone off and I'm not gonna look at it. I'm just gonna sit in here and read and I'll let you know how I feel about the book when I'm done. So it's been about a week since I read War and Peace in my closet. When I finished, I put this book back on my shelf and I planned on not picking it up again. And this morning I decided I wanted to try to read a little bit more. So I read another 10 pages. And I think what I've realized in all this is that when you're trying to force yourself to read a book, it makes it really, really hard to want to read it. But when you give yourself the option to just read when you want to read, it's a lot easier to do. Now I'm still not positive if I'm gonna finish this book or not. If I do, it's gonna take me a long time, but I don't think I can 100% make a decision right now. I'm on page 326. I'm getting pretty close to halfway. It's crazy to think that I've already read this much of the book. It might take me a little while, but I think eventually I can finish it. Um.